Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you guys from my bed and it's Monday. We're having a snowstorm. I'm bummy as hell and I'm like shoot I don't have any content to upload for the week so I've decided to talk about something that I wanted to speak, up for, speak about for a while. So if you're new to my channel, um, a few months ago I started a self-love series and it just became something that I wanted to speak about a lot more on my channel and there's another topic that I've been wanting to discuss but I kept putting it off because I'm just like okay if I draw from like personal experiences I want people to look at me dumb but I'm kind of just like you know what you live and you learn and you use the lessons that you've learned in life for other people to learn from you about what not to do why did that just sound more complicated than it really needed to be Anyways, so the topic that I have to discuss tonight in my book, it's called it's Self Love and it's um, entitled uh, Put Men Aside for a Minute. So yeah, I've had this written down in my book for like a really long time and I'm kind of just like, you know what, screw it, let's get it done, like whatever. So I've, like I had my first boyfriend at... 13 and I feel like that I don't know it made me look at men like a lot differently like as I got older because you know like your first boyfriend you're just like oh like you want this and you want that and you build up stuff in your head or whatever xyz anyways I've lived and I've learned since then and um I noticed that as I got older I had uh, like serious commitment issues and I know that's come from like personal family issues or personal family things that have gone around in my life. And um, most mostly like it started um, when my grandpa passed away. My grandpa passed away in 2009 um, and he was like my dad, like my dad. And I've always idolized him and my grandmother's relationship and like I just I loved my grandpa so much like till this day like just the thought of him makes me cry and um, I don't know I love him so much and like when he passed it was like okay now you're trying to tell me that the people that I love in life you know they don't last forever and like anybody that loves me is gonna disappear and I guess I thought about that because the love that he had for me or the love that he showed that he had for me was so strong and it was it was really hard to grasp the concept of him not being around any longer so that's where my commitment issues like you could say got a little bit worse but not only did I gain that I started to make myself look a certain way or portray myself a certain way so guys would be attracted to me and I wouldn't like do the chasing like be like hey yo like what's your number like I wouldn't just approach a guy and like ask for his number but I would dress a certain way or try to look a certain way so guys would come and talk to me or guys would want to talk to me and for the longest while like it worked but I wasn't attracting the right people in my life that wanted the best for me it always came with somebody trying to use me right so with dealing with that and you know always having a thought that no one's ever gonna love me no one's ever gonna like me for who I am I lost myself and even with dating I lost myself I tried dating in the church I've tried you know just dating in general and nothing ever worked out for me regardless if it was in the church and saying dating somebody at the same faith or out of the church there was always some type of con to it and it didn't like occur to me until I asked my counselor at the time I'm just like why do I why is emotion so weird for me like I never wanted anybody to hug me I'm like why is everything so awkward like why do I have these commitment issues and we started to put the pieces together and it came down to me not necessarily loving who I am I didn't like my personality I didn't like the way I looked physically like I didn't like anything about myself and instead of trying to learn to fix those things I was constantly trying to be somebody who I wasn't so it left doors open for hurt it left doors open for disappointment it left doors open for inconsistently like it just really broke me down as a person 
and um, after my last relationship before my my boyfriend right now um, that really broke me like completely there was just a lot of things that were outside of my character that I didn't like I didn't like the way I was changing I didn't like my attitude I didn't like how hot-headed I was like it was just a lot that contributed to a lot of hurt in that relationship you know a lot of breaking down all that all of that stuff so before I met my boyfriend now um, I promised myself that I would stop take a minute to get my thoughts together um, learn to love myself whether it's the way I laugh um, the things I like to do the way I physically looked and instead of going right away and trying to change my physical appearance by like dieting and all that stuff I just learned to love my body in the state that it was in and as hard as it was and during all those things that I was going through it was like a working progress like I felt like I was getting there and now that I am researching about feminine energy it's crazy because there was a point in my life I was going through something and I didn't know what it was but I was so much happier and I came across this youtuber it's been about two years now her name is Yanni Red I've spoke about her on my channel before she started a feminine energy series on her YouTube channel and I'm watching the videos and listening to her talk about these topics and I'm just like yo like shit like before I got to where I am right now with my boyfriend like I went through literally everything and I've been researching um, about feminine energy as well and I have some stuff um, that I've pinned on my Pinterest to actually tell you about like what feminine energy is so basically feminine energy helps you to find a balance between the masculine and the feminine side or like of whatever whatever energy and for females it says um a thing things that come with being a female is being receptive passive um contractive intuitive and inward and it says natural feminine um, basically energy is unconditional love understanding nurturing tenderness kindness intuitive creative feeling um stillness flow radiance surrender sensitivity emotional ease and allowing and then it says a woman um feminine energy or wounded sorry feminine energy is victim powerless weakness manipulation withholding neediness codependency over sensitivity and over emotional and those were uh, like that literally listed out everything that I was going through before I feel like I've reached the point of achieving like the highest point of feminine energy and what was so great about that is that I was able to stay consistent in that feeling during the beginning of my relationship and I'm not gonna go into the masculine energy side but another like a few little quotes that I've um, came across um, here it says her vibration she's learning to recognize more and more what's best for her vibration she's honoring it and using it to guide her higher daily her soul is at peace and vibrating higher because of her dedication and reclaimed ownership of her vibration so it's basically just taking control of who you are and what makes you a female but not using it to an advantage but using it to have a balanced lifestyle or a balanced feminine energy in other words that helped me to stop being the chaser and learn to be chased there's nothing wrong with being chased that's just a nat the natural characteristics of a male and a female and I feel like sometimes we go too hard as females trying to achieve things that we think we need or the things we think we want but in all realness you kind of just need to let things um, fall into place and that's when I realized where my commitment issues came from I was always trying to find this type of love and I was willing to do anything for it that like everything kind of just went over my head so when it did hit me it was kind of just like oh like it's getting too serious I don't think I could do this and then I would go with the blocking your number and deleting you and kind of just erasing you from my memory and that was really unhealthy for me because I was going through like these little things regardless if it was talking to somebody or dating somebody and like 
just cutting them off like to me that's just unhealthy like there's no emotional connection there at all and I know I didn't have any type of emotional connection to anybody at the time just because of everything that I was feeling and everything that I wasn't able to I was basically wasn't able to take control of who I am and my feminine energy and take control of like my personality and I also wasn't leaning towards people or being attracted to people that were able to deal with all of this and it was just very difficult for me to understand that and I didn't have that feeling until I met my boyfriend um recently or almost two years now um another thing that I came across it says ask the sands of the ocean from where they have come they have come from the mountains they will tell you a great secret Water wins finally. We were hard and we were thought that water cannot win. It says thought, but I'm sure it says taught. They meant taught. It says we were hard and we were taught that water cannot win. We were very, very settled. We could not believe that this poor water, so soft, unharming, unhurting, nonviolent, could destroy us, but it destroyed us. This is the beauty of feminine energy. Don't be like a rock. Be like water, soft feminine and victory is yours so embrace all that that softness about you embrace the emotional aspect about yourself like there's nothing wrong with that but you have to learn to take control of that you have to learn to love every aspect of a female especially during your feminine energy stages when you're able to reach the height of achieving feminine energy you need to like hold on to that for dear life because now that becomes a part of you and it should be fluid to a point where you shouldn't have to stop and really think about it like things just should be different the way people talk to you the way people approach you just should be different when you achieve that like all-time high of feminine energy so I'm pretty much gonna end the video here it was just crazy about there's just crazy to see that I've been putting off this topic for so long not really feeling the need to actually come in front of the camera to speak about it but I think it's because I have now realized um, or come to terms with the definition of feminine energy and what it is and it's something that you can achieve during a relationship you don't have to be single to achieve fem feminine energy I just feel like it's for you to do your own research on. I will put the links in my bio for Yanni Red's video talking about feminine energy. I can never say the word. Talking about feminine energy and how she knew she reached that ultimate high and how she's felt and how things are different for her physically. It's just, it's a lot to take in when you realize like, damn, am I actually going through this? So again, I apologize for this dusty looking get up that I'm in as I said you know this is snow day and I just felt like I needed to discuss this topic on my channel so I will see you guys in the next one bye